The war in Afghanistan may be officially over, but the sisterhood that developed between the Afghan and American women who served together is not. Rebecca Edmondson, Army veteran and program manager at the PinFed Foundation Afghan Rescue and Resettlement Program, joins me alongside former commander of Afghanistan's female tactical platoon, Manaz Akbari, to discuss what's being done to help Afghan women heroes one year after the Taliban's resurgence in Afghanistan. So Rebecca, let's start with you. What was your experience like training and serving alongside your female Afghan county? Uh, Army County parts, I should say. The experience, in short, was uh, it was life changing for me. Um, it was uh, it was so empowering to work with women in uh, in a capacity that um, really encouraged them to achieve, you know, whatever they set their minds to, and uh, it definitely changed the course of my life in so many ways. So what is the PinFed Foundation Afghan Rescue and Resettlement Program then, and how does it help uh, resettle Afghan women refugees to the U.S.? So essentially the foundation um, is focused on supporting uh, military members, veterans, and their families. And uh, after the fall of Kabul last year, uh, many veterans band together and wanted to do something to support the, uh, the refugee crisis that was, was taking place. And uh, veterans like myself, we all kind of band together and uh, we started to uh, work towards helping them with resettlement once they got here. And that looks like um, we're assisting with uh, rental assistance, um, sort, all sorts of different types of assistance, but predominantly we're really focusing on the asylum process, which there's no clearer uh, pathway to citizenship yet, so that's uh, our main focus. What are some of the biggest challenges that Afghan women are facing, uh, the refugees attempting to resettle in the U.S.? Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges that we have, like uh, all Afghans that are here, not just FTPs, like we are concerned about that there is no uh, clear pathway to citizenship, and it's uh, really mm -hmm. stressful for us, and I think it's the biggest challenges for us. Well, Manas, how would you say the pin found Pin Fed Foundation has changed your life? Actually, when Afghanistan fall, like the biggest change came when Afghanistan fall to my life. And after that, we came, like all FTPs came here with like a big disappointment uh, in the country. And uh, fortunately, we have like uh, our American sister that we like, the, we work with the, together in Afghanistan and also Pen Fed Foundation that help us uh, and provide us, provide us a lot of trainings, uh, a lot of like uh, helping with our housing, finding like a scholarship, English course, and like it's effect to our life here a lot. What was it like fighting alongside American troops, especially other women? Uh, I think uh, mm, we work together in Afghanistan. We help to, uh, we help each other in Afghanistan and we empower us uh, each other in Afghanistan how like even in a country like in Afghanistan that our female are not allowed to go outside without the men secure men secure uh, men escort uh, uh, like working with each other like we like especially like they are empower us to have fight like uh, with a lot of problems that we were facing in Afghanistan it has been wonderful meeting both of you. Thank you so much, and thank you for your service. But Rebecca, where can we go for more information, and how can folks get involved if they want to? Uh, folks can go to the penfedfoundation.org to donate. Wonderful. Thank you both so much again, and uh, good luck with everything. And if you'd like to see this segment again, you know you can head to our website as well, firstcoastliving.net.